<laughs> Did we know you were engaged? Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah, appreciate you. I didn't know that, but. Yeah, so, I, was in, I was engaged I before it. I got. Uh, it was like before last season. So, like that summer. I think. I don't know. Uh, I can't remember. Well, I didn't know. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, just. I feel like we haven't seen you in a while, man. How's, yeah. How did the offseason go? What, did you, what were the most important things you tried to focus on, basically? Uh, off season has been great. You know, it's pretty much the whole focus was just getting better in the, every aspect, body-wise, in the weight room, on the court, um, up to, like, 243 now. So I've been putting on the pounds, and then obviously just expanding my game offensively and defensively on the court. What's, uh, just what made that important, just to put weight on? You know, just what made I that mean, just, and... it, was from, it was more of an experimental thing, just to see, like, how mm -hmm. much my body can handle and if I can still put out that same performance at that weight. And, you know, I guess say experiment went well. So, <laughs> I mean, that was pretty much it. It was, it was, like, no set, like, weight that we wanted to get to. It was just more like, let's just see how much my body can handle. What's, the, what's been the value of it so far? I mean, I guess it's, it, it seems like you're saying you haven't lost any explosiveness. Mm -hmm. Um, wait, how, basically, how are you carrying it, and, and, and how has it helped you? Uh, pretty court? much, it's just being more strong on the court. You know, I mean, a lot, like I said, more explosive. Uh, being able, obviously, you know, a lot of people know me for the, my body frame of just being heavy up top and so sort of skinny at the bottom. But most of, I got a lot of muscle at the bottom now, so it's just being able to withstand myself and just withstand hits and stuff like that. Any specific skills you tried to improve this summer? Uh, just playing off the ball. You know. Uh, Hitting, obviously, I didn't shoot it so well last year, yeah. but um, just being able to hit shots consistently, um, and pretty much just been working on being in the paint, just being dominant. That yeah. shooting clearly bothered you. Why? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, why? I, why do you think it, the numbers weren't to your liking? I, guess. I mean, obviously, because when I got traded here, I felt like I couldn't, I couldn't miss a right. shot. You know, <laughs> then it shot like fifty percent. <laughs> last year it was like twenty eight. But I mean, like, I mean. It was more. It was more just mental, you know, just letting that, those misses get to my head. And this year, the summer it was pretty much just focused on not focusing on the miss and focusing on the next shot. So I not feel as though that it was very productive. Was it fair to say maybe it was the uncertainty of like, is today your night or is it Isaiah's night? And uh, no, if, I wouldn't say that. If you miss a couple, you might come out or anything like that. I wouldn't say that. It was just like I said. It was just mental. Just me not worrying about the letting the last shot affect me. And I feel as though, like I said, just focus on the summer was just focus on the next shot. That was the whole model for me. How do you shake that? How do you change that mentality? Just keep shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep shooting and don't worry about the next shot. I mean, obviously, you, you, it's the NBA. You're going to miss. I mean, nobody wants to miss. You know, it's more about the idea of being perfect, being perfect, perfect but knowing that you're not going to be perfect. So I was like, just like I said, just focusing on the next shot, you know, making sure the next one go in and then the next one and the next one from there. Sounds like you've been talking to Buddy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Buddy, Buddy is an insane shooter. You can't, you can't compare, compare to Buddy at all. What do you want this season to be about for you individually? What do you want to see from yourself and what do you want to get accomplished? Uh, pretty much me personally, I just want to put it all together. You know, I mean, I showed spurts here and there uh, once I got traded here and then last season here and there. I just want to have a full season just putting it all together, you know. Just had that breakout season and just showing that my dominance, that's it. Obviously, you guys come in with the same competition with mm -hmm. you and Isaiah, with, Dan with Daniel back coming off, one being healthy, coming off FIBA. How do you view this competition as the same as it was? And, and how is it different? I guess, I, how is it maybe a, just, a different dynamic? Just going to be a dogfight, you know. I mean, we all, we all know it coming in. Everybody knows it. Everybody on the team knows that nothing is secure right now. You know, it's up in the air for pretty much everybody. And just everybody's just going to go out there and play hard, you know. I mean, it's, we look at it as just food on the plate to be taken. That's how it is. Oh, that's how I look at it, you know. And pretty much I'm just go out there, get my all, just play hard. How's that dynamic overall? I mean, like, I was just asking about you guys' competition, but just the fact that really the whole team, you know, with the exception of a handful of guys comes in with their status, not 100% mm -hmm. certain. You know, everybody's got to fight in battle. What's that been like in, in even the stuff leading up to this, your pickups, your Nashville trip, you know, what's that? How has that, you know, influenced the way the games are, the pickups are, the workouts are? Just the, the level of competition for, for minutes. Oh, it's been fun. I mean, I mean, we all know it's not personal. You know, mm -hmm. off the court wise, we all still one of the greatest friends. You know, but I mean, on the court, we know that it's our job. You know, we're mm -hmm. fighting to put food on the table for our families. You know, so I mean, at the end of the day, it's just it's more about it's about I say it's more out of respect of everybody. We know that we got to go hard for each other. We know that we got to fight each other to, for those minutes, and it's more about just made the best man win at that point. The phrase the brick in the front office is you just earn it with mm -hmm. the minutes. What will it take for you to earn it? Oh, just just going out there and playing hard, you know, playing through everything, 
fighting for everything, making sure that I'm leaving an impact on the floor, offensively and defensively. Where's a guy like James Johnson you're gonna miss this season? <laughs> uh, yeah, we gonna miss JJ for sure. Um, it's it's more of like. I say more off the court, you know. I mean, obviously, we all know what JJ can do on the court, but just the, that presence he had in the locker room and just how much he was pretty much like the the big brother to everybody, you know. Obviously, he had the most years in the NBA, he had the most production in the NBA. It's just more like he was that guy in the locker room that everybody could go to if they had a problem or if they needed advice on anything. Just more of that, that big brother aspect we're going to miss. Were you going to him more for stuff off the court than even on the court? I mean, I went to JJ for everything. I mean, yeah. I, I, that's because I respect JJ. I, I know what. Anything, everything that I went through, he went through, and well, he went through it in some form. So I knew that he had to answer for everything. Awesome. Thank you, yeah, appreciate y'all.